guys hi guys you're welcome back my name is Pukumi so this video actually went viral in London UK in which just a miracle made this police officer convert to Islam to accept Islam so let's see how it all went down there is some people saying hey you that you became Muslim yes can I know when did you become Muslim so I um, I took Shahada January this year this year. This year, Ooh. January this year. What brought this police officer to Islam will amaze you. Wow. Standing on Edgware Road in the bustling city of London, this police constable talks about his journey towards guidance. He took his shahad in January this year. But what made him revert? One night, while trying to fall asleep, PC Paul started feeling tightening in his chest. Hmm. He felt like someone was squeezing the air out of him and he found himself gasping. He couldn't breathe. He didn't know what to do, but a yeah. voice in his head started telling him, put the Quran on, put the Quran on. Oh. So he put the recitation of the Holy Quran on his tablet. And as soon as he heard, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, PC Paul started feeling himself getting back to normal. He was no more struggling to breathe. His chest started to loosen up. Hmm. What a miracle. The very next day, PC Paul went to the masjid and said his shahada. From that moment on, Paul expressed that he feels young, healthy, pure, and alive. Mm -hmm. The Quran, no doubt, has immense healing power. It is widely believed among the Muslims that reciting and listening to the Quran can have a healing effect on various levels. Quran has the power to bring peace and comfort and can alleviate stress, depression, and anxiety for those who recite and ponder upon the verses. And PC Paul was one of those chosen by Allah to experience this miraculous power of the Quran. Paul has been working on Edgware Road for the past 16 years, and this is an area of London that is renowned for its vibrant, multicultural atmosphere. It is often referred to as Little Beirut due to its large Lebanese and Middle Eastern community. PC Paul has spent a lot of time experiencing the Islamic culture and the community. When he was asked why did he choose Islam, he said Islam is such a peaceful religion and Allah chose me. Hmm. I learned about the culture, I learned about the community and it's, Islam is such a peaceful religion. Um, Alhamdulillah, Allah chose me. He further stated that the loving and most peaceful people that he has ever met in his life are Muslims and their behavior and demeanor and the way they treated others was what attracted PC Paul towards Islam. Talking about the people he sees regularly on Edgware Road, Paul says that they treat him like family. He says that these people have become a part of me and I have become a part of them. He has become a brother for some a son for some and an uncle for some. Often, children that he has seen growing up will come to him if they have any problems and he speaks to their parents on their behalf. If older people have any issues with understanding the law and other legal issues, Paul helps them out. Paul mentions that whenever he has been sick, the people of this community have prayed for him and looked after him. Hmm. Whenever he has been hungry, they have fed him. This system where people are looking out for each other has drawn Paul towards Islam. In times when the family system is deteriorating in the West and many people becoming individualistic, we Muslims are blessed that our religion gives so much importance to familial ties and maintain good relationships with communities. And Paul loves this aspect of the religion. PC Paul believes that he is truly blessed to be given the opportunity to work on Edgware Road by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The interactions he has had on this road and the environment he has seen has been a big reason for his acceptance of Islam. No wonder that our religion gives so much importance to good manners and character. Muslims should continuously work on themselves. They should follow the footsteps of the Prophet peace be upon him and learn from the seerah so that when non-Muslims came to know them, they feel impressed by them and find motivation to accept Islam. 
Another thing that attracted PC Paul towards Islam is devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says that the five prayers of the day are such a perfect way to instill discipline and commitment into one's life. He says that it's not just prayers, it's a lifestyle. Hmm. Being regular on our five daily prayers is another aspect of Islam that non-Muslims are very impressed by. They often agree, and rightly so, that observing prayers at the prescribed time can bring about a lot of routine and order in one's life. Such commitment then overflows into other aspects of a person's life and make it easier to adopt healthier habits. PC Paul then adds that since January, he has studied the Quran twice. He says that it is such a beautiful book and again stresses that Islam is such a beautiful religion. He admits that other religions and countries have been brainwashed to believe that it is not. But he has now found out the truth about Islam after becoming a Muslim. He tells the interviewer that since January, he hasn't missed a single prayer. He observes the five daily prayers and he gets up at 3 a.m. to say his tahajjud prayer as well. The interviewer points out that there are so many people who have been born Muslims, but they're still neglectful of their salah. And here was a new revert observing all the prayers. Subhanallah. Paul gave a very encouraging reply and stated that Allah does not want perfection. He just wants us to keep trying. So if someone is not in the habit of praying, they should start with one and then two, and then eventually they will get into the habit of saying all five prayers. This year, PC Paul also observed Ramadan, the month of fasting, and did not miss a single fast. He even fasts on a Monday and a Thursday. He says it's great for his mind and body. He feels pure and healthy now. He said he would love to go to Mecca and Medina one day, and people from the community have invited him to come with him so many times. PC Paul has now become quite a celebrity. 40 million people in Iraq watch his videos, and he was told that even the Prime Minister knows him. Paul was so humbled to hear this, and says that it's all a blessing from Allah. Nobody knew about him when he was a non-Muslim, and now that he has accepted Islam, he has found not just guidance, but so much love and respect from people all over. We send lots of prayers to PC Paul for his future. May he continue to remain steadfast on the deen and may he motivate more people to see the beauty of Islam. Before we go, we would like to mention that if you must take away one lesson from today's video, let it be this. Beautify your character. Become the most loving, caring, and respectful person. Follow the Sunnah of the Prophet and follow his teachings. Someday, someone you meet might get so impressed by your character that they might be motivated to accept Islam and you will reap the reward for that. Wow. Interesting. Wow. But what I want to ask is that it was in that kind of situation so is it that he was like 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 does he have um muslim friends or has he associated himself with muslim because for his spirit to just like how do i put it he said he had a voice telling him to open the quran opening the quran as a non-muslim there's no way that thing can ever come to your mind and there's no way something can drop to your mind to do something like or, or to tell you to do something like that i don't know if i'm making sense just imagine now that i'm not a muslim i'm a christian and i'm in a situation in which i need the help of god there's no way my spirit would dawn on me to say go and read the quran because of my religion so that's why i'm saying that maybe he has already been you know doing some research about Quran and uh, maybe he has friends, family or loved ones or something. Something actually have connected him to the Quran before something could tell him, okay, 
go and read the Quran. The, the, the amazing part of it is the, is the fact that he was not even having the Quran in his room. So he had to make you, like, he went to search for it online. Then he read the Quran. Amazing, like, wow, wow. That was a bold step. Like, that was a bold step for him to actually, you know, obey. He obeyed and, you know, he got his healing. And he said from there, he converted to Islam. And I don't know which religion he was before converted to Islam. We don't know because he didn't say if he's a Christian, a atheist, or Hindu, or whatever. We don't know. But um, uh, one thing that he said that I was like, oh, that's cool, is when he said, the reason why he actually cherished you know, Islam is that the way they show love, you know, and the way they actually pray five times daily that praying five times daily is not just a prayer it's a lifestyle definitely if you are doing something constantly it becomes a lifestyle it becomes part of you you don't need to be told to do so you don't need to be pushed to go and do it and that was beautiful this is a very beautiful story wow amazing thank you so much for watching guys if you're smart just subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye